What is quality management? Quality is the degree to which the project fulfills requirements. Quality management includes creating and following policies and procedures in order to ensure that a project meets the defined needs it was intended to meet from the customer's perspective. Here are some perspectives of project quality management. Customer satisfaction. Quality is all about meeting the expectations and requirements of the customer and stakeholders and creating a product that fulfills those needs and is fit for its intended use. Prevention. Quality is achieved by planning, designing, and building it into a product or process from the inception. Management responsibility. The project team must ensure the success of quality efforts, and the organizational management must provide the financial resources needed for quality efforts to succeed. Continuous improvement. Quality and process improvement relies on the ongoing plan, do, check, and act cycle. Understanding quality and grade. Quality. Quality is the degree to which the characteristics of a product meet the demands or expectations of the project. In other words, quality is conformance to the requirements, including the product and customer's requirements. Grade. Grade is a category or rank assigned to products or services having the same functional use but different technical characteristics. For example, there are different grades of paint, different grades of metal, and even different grades of travel. Difference between quality and grade. Low quality does not equal to low grade. Low quality is usually not acceptable. But on the other hand, low grade is never a problem and it is acceptable. A product or service, regardless of its grade, must be of high quality. Ames is a globally recognized and an accredited institution. We offer certifications, diploma, MBA, and PhD programs in project management through an online and self-paced learning system. For registration and details, please visit www.aims.education. Understanding accuracy and precision. Accuracy. It represents how close a measured value is to the actual or true value. Accuracy is the measure of exactness. And precision. It represents how close the measured values are to each other. Precision is an assessment of correctness. Difference between accuracy and precision. Measured values may or may not be near the actual or true value, but if the scatter is lesser, the measurements are said to have a high precision. When measurements are close to the target value, they are accurate. Scatter does not have any significant role here. Processes and activities. In order to satisfy the project needs, the processes and activities of project quality management determine quality policies, objectives, and responsibilities. There are three core project quality management processes, plan quality management, perform quality assurance, and control quality. We will now understand each of these processes in more detail. First process. Plan quality management. It is the process of identifying quality requirements and or standards for the project and its deliverables, and documenting how the project will demonstrate compliance with relevant quality requirements. Key benefit. This process provides guidance and direction on how quality will be managed and validated throughout the project. Inputs for plan quality management. The inputs to create the plan quality management are scope baseline, stakeholder register, requirements documentation, risk register, enterprise environmental factors, and organizational process assets. Tools and techniques for plan quality management. Tools and techniques to create the plan quality management are cost benefit analysis, cost of quality, seven basic quality tools, benchmarking, the design of experiments, statistical sampling, and additional quality tools. 
The Seven Basic Quality Tools Kaoru Ishikawa was a Japanese organizational theorist and well known for his quality management innovations. He developed seven basic visual tools of quality so that the average person could analyze and interpret data. These seven tools are a cause and effect diagram, flowcharts, check sheets, Pareto diagrams, histograms, control charts, and scatter diagrams. These tools are used worldwide by companies, managers of all levels, and employees. The first basic quality tool, the cause and effect diagram. The cause and effect diagram is also called the fishbone diagram. This tool discovers the possible causes for an effect or problem. This diagram acts as a first step in problem solving by creating a list of possible causes. Let's see how the fishbone diagram works. First, clearly identify and define the problem or effect for which the causes must be identified. Place the problem or effect at the right or the head of the diagram. Then identify all the broad areas of the problem. Then write the possible causes in each of the broad areas. Each cause that has been identified should now look for more causes. Now, view the diagram and evaluate the main causes. And finally, set goals and take action on the main causes. Second basic quality tool, flowchart. It is a graphical representation of a process, and it shows the relationships among process steps. It can help a project to identify the points where quality problems might occur and may cause failures. Preventive or corrective measures can be taken to avoid problems. The third basic quality tool. Check sheet. A check sheet is a structured form that's prepared to collect and analyze data, which leads us to organize facts about a potential quality problem. It's more useful when repeated data is collected from the same person or effect. For example, a check sheet is used to collect data about the frequencies or consequences of defects. The fourth basic quality tool, Pareto charts. These are used to identify and prioritize problems to be solved. They are actually histograms, aided by the 80-20 rule introduced by Vilfredo Pareto. The 80-20 rule, as it applies to quality, says that 80% of the problems or outputs come from 20% of the causes or inputs. In the 80-20 rule, you prioritize the 20% of the factors to produce the best results. Pareto charts are displayed as histograms that rank order the most important factors by their frequency over time. The fifth basic quality tool, histograms. They are a special form of bar chart and are used to describe the central tendency, dispersion, and shape of a statistical distribution. Unlike the control chart, the histogram does not consider the influence of time on the variation that exists within a distribution. The sixth basic quality tool, control chart. A graphical display of the results over time of a process is used to assess whether the process is in control or it is out of control. A control chart always has the following. A central line for the average, an upper line for the upper control limit, and a lower line for the lower control limit. These lines are determined from the historical data. In this chart, you may observe that the central line is surrounded by two more lines, and they are known as the upper specification limit and the lower specification limit. The upper and lower specification limits are provided in the contract, and one cannot cross them. The upper and lower control limits are determined by the project manager. By comparing current data to these limits, you can draw conclusions about whether the process variation is consistent or is unpredictable. If 99.73% of all the points fall between the upper and lower control limits, the project is considered as under control. The Rule of 7 If 7 or more consecutive data points fall on one side of the mean, then an investigation must be initiated to find out the reason for it, even if these points fall within the control limits. 
This is known as the rule of seven. And the seventh basic quality tool, a scatter diagram. It is a graph that shows the relationship between two variables. Scatter diagrams can show a relationship between any element of a process, environment, or activity on one axis and a quality defect on the other axis. If the variables are correlated, the points will fall along a line or curve. The better the correlation, the tighter the points will hug the line. Outputs of Plan Quality Management Outputs to create the Plan Quality Management are Quality Management Plan Quality Metrics Quality Checklists Process Improvement Plan and Project Document Updates Second process Perform Quality Assurance Quality Assurance is sandwiched between Plan Quality Management and Control Quality this is how it is done. First, you plan the quality processes, policies, techniques, methods, and metrics. Then, using the tools in quality control, you measure the results by using the identified tools, techniques, and methods to see whether they comply with the identified metrics. Finally, in quality assurance, you identify whether the process is working and if there are ways to improve it. Key Benefit Quality assurance is predominantly concerned with improving processes, and it leads to improved results. Inputs for Perform Quality Assurance Inputs for the Perform Quality Assurance process come from Plan Quality Management and the Control Quality processes. They are Quality Management Plan Process Improvement Plan Quality Metrics Quality Control Measurements and project documents. Tools and techniques for perform quality assurance. Perform quality assurance is concerned with process improvement. The same tools and techniques of plan quality management and control quality can help in this perform quality assurance process. The difference is that they're predominantly process oriented rather than product or project oriented. In addition to the previously discussed tools and techniques, the following quality management tools are used. Affinity diagrams, prioritization matrices, matrix diagrams, quality audits, and process analysis. Outputs of Perform Quality Assurance The intended outcome of quality audit and process improvement activities is to reduce the cost of quality and or to increase customer satisfaction. The outputs of Perform Quality Assurance are Change Requests Project Management Plan Updates Project Document Updates and Organizational Process Asset Updates Third Process Control Quality it is a process of inspecting and verifying the product and services in order to assess the performance of the project and create recommendations for changes. Here are the benefits of control quality. Validate the deliverables. Meet the requirements as specified by the stakeholders. Identify causes of poor product quality and recommend actions to eliminate problems related to quality. Inputs for Perform Quality Control Process Here are the inputs of Perform Quality Process Project Management Plan Quality Metrics Quality Checklists Work Performance Data Approved Change Requests Deliverables and Organizational Process Assets Tools and Techniques for Perform Quality Control Process to perform quality control, we use the following tools and techniques. The seven basic quality tools, statistical sampling, inspection, and approved change requests review. Outputs of perform quality control. The results or outputs of the quality control process, which are used as inputs for other processes are validated changes, validated deliverables, change requests, Project Management Plan Updates, Project Document Updates, and Organizational Process Assets Updates. 
Differences between quality assurance and quality control. Before concluding this chapter, let us discuss the key differences between the quality assurance and the quality control. In quality assurance, you plan to avoid the defect, and in quality control, you try to find defects and correct them while making the product. Quality assurance is all about prevention, and quality control is all about the detection. Quality assurance is a proactive process, while quality control is a reactive process. Quality assurance is a process-based approach, while quality control is a product-based approach. Quality assurance involves processes managing quality, and quality control is used to verify the quality of the product. Quality audit is an example of quality assurance. On the other hand, the inspection and testing are the examples of quality control process. The goal of the quality assurance process is to develop a process so that defects do not arise when you're producing the product, whereas the quality control identifies the defects after the product is produced but is not yet released or is still in the production phase.